need to stop comparing ourselves to others on the internet. There's always someone, there's always going to be someone doing better than you. There's always going to be someone earning more money than you or doing the things that you want to do. And that's okay. What is not okay is comparing yourself to these people and making yourself feel like your life isn't good enough. So I was talking to someone that's pretty close to me the other day about this subject and she's comparing herself to a few girls that she grew up with in the area that are doing really good and they've got a big following on TikTok and they get to travel here, they get given gifts and all this sort of stuff but something that you don't realise is the hard work that these people put in in the background. Yes, they might get opportunities easier, a lot quicker, but we have to realise these people do put in the work as well. We can't just compare what we're doing to other people. I think social media is a really dangerous place sometimes because a lot of people... Holy fuck. Okay, so my fucking bike just broke. Anyway, uh, I think social media can be really dangerous because we tend to compare ourselves when it comes to followers and likes and if our post does well. But what we need to concentrate on is having fun in the moment, obviously filming everything, creating content that we love ourselves. Like, do you sit there and re-watch your videos and feel that feeling that you had in that moment? That's what it all comes down to. Don't make content hoping that people are gonna like it because you need to make content based on what you're gonna like. You just need to make content based on the things that you do. Yo, welcome back to the channel guys. So, we're back down here at the park. I hope you guys enjoyed that last video. The flight wasn't that good, uh, but I think that was because my drone was having a few issues with the RC. Uh, and then that night it completely stopped working. And then Zef, the absolute legend, he, uh, he got my drone back working again, which is awesome. So it actually, I just did a test run just then and it flies a lot better. So I don't know what settings and stuff that he did if he put it back to factory, but I actually like how smooth it is right now. I'll let you know what's going on in the background. So I came back down to this park and there is a group of four people over there, all wearing ski masks. It's not even a cold day, so I don't know what's going on, but where I'm from, that's probably a little bit sketchy. So <clears throat> you kind of got to watch your back when you've got all this camera gear, you're filming, it sparks people's interest. I don't know, people in Taiwan seem to make me feel and talk about how safe it is in Taiwan probably one of the most safest countries in the world. I know anywhere, anything can happen at any time, but people have told me that not much crime happens here. People aren't gonna try and steal my shit, but obviously it can happen anywhere, I'm not naive. I'm used to just kind of watching my back, where I am, uh, my surroundings and that sort of thing. That's just how I grew up. It's just the things that I've been through. So I'm always kind of on alert, no matter where I am or what I'm doing which some people find weird. Let me know if you can relate to that, but yeah, it's a bit sketchy. I think they're all just drinking, playing games. It's like one o'clock in the day, which is kind of weird to me. Um, so that just, yeah, puts up alarm bells, but I'm gonna fly anyway. I'm gonna get this video out, but I just wanted to talk to you guys at the start, just about not comparing yourself to others. I do this myself, obviously I jump online and I see how amazing everyone's adventures are and how well they edit and, and that sort of thing, so I'm definitely guilty of that. It's a little harder when someone comes to you and talks to you about that and you know how bad it is to compare yourself to others but you can see them doing it. But anyway, it's just, yeah, I just wanted to quickly talk about that um, just because everyone, we kind of all need to stop doing that. Anyway, I'm down here at the park. I've got my Gep RC Tiny Go, which obviously you can see how small it is. This is such a fun little drone to rip around with. So I'm going to fly this, and then I've also got the Gep RC CD35. So you can see the size difference, but I'm going to rip both around, have a bit of a fly, and um, yeah, let's just have some fun. Let's just try and get a fun flying video out of this. Nothing too serious. Man. 
<coughs> can't believe I did one flight in Taiwan. In two years, this has never given me a problem. The one time I come to Taiwan, the thing stops working. Like, the only reason I brought this, and it was a pain to bring, was just to rip around this park, and it failed me. But, we're back in the air, and we are all good. Let me make sure that's recording. All right, pre-check. Have a look around, no fucking suspects anywhere. All right, flight one, we've already warmed up. This is gonna be a full send. We're gonna hit the gaps. All right, so I'm just gonna let my eyes adjust to the screen. All right, we're armed. Okay. All right, just a little warm up run. And then now we're going to get into it. So we're going to wrap around. We're going to go underneath the fence, back around through the slippery dip, over, around the tree. And we're going to go through this. Holy shit, we did it. All right. Let's go under. This is sick. Oh my God. Wow. All right, back through, pretend that never happened. And we're gonna go back around underneath. I can't really see, man, digital, I mean, analog's so fucking hard. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! Oh shit! Now I'm all nervous. Now I don't know where I'm going. I have no idea what's going on right now. Let's go under. Analog's so hard to see sometimes. Oh shit, okay. Oh! What a run, that's the, that's the run that I wanted. That is the run I've been trying to get for two days and haven't been able to get. That's sick. All right, I'm a little excited, but let's try it. Okay, let's ignore that. Uh, what are we doing now? Whoa, what a run. Fuck! We're good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.